Hi everyone, welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike, and I'm Sam. I hope you're feeling energetic today, Sam, because we have an article called "Time for Action." Action! We're gonna do stuff, and、Ooh. the first thing we're gonna do is read a dialogue about a couple of people doing a very interesting kind of race.、Uh. Now I think you mentioned that you did something similar in real life. Yeah, I did. I had、uh, an experience with like an obstacle course race. Okay. And so、wow. um, I think it was called Conquer Taipei. So、Ooh. this was I don't know maybe six years ago now. But okay. But it was a race where it's like we run, 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 and then there is an obstacle. Then you do the obstacle, and then run,、mm-hmm. run, run, and keep going like that. So these obstacles are things you have to climb over,、yeah. or go under, or something like that. We had to go under like, like a bunch of ropes,、oh、and it、gosh. was in the mud, and then we had to go <gasps> monkey bar across <coughs> some water. Sounds like you're training to be a soldier.、Oh, it was way harder than I was expecting. Yeah. <laughs> so you've never done something like that. No,、wow. and I did not prepare very well for it either. Well, now you know more. You're very, very <laughs> brave. I've never done an obstacle course, but I did take part in a very special and very famous race、oh, in Taipei.、Really? You know, every year the Taipei 101, people can climb the stairs、oh, to、yeah. the top. Yeah. yeah, you know that race. Yes. I didn't do that race.、Oh. <laughs> My band played music at the bottom、ah. of the tower, so when people came down, they could listen to music and dance. I don't know why we were there, but it was very interesting.、Mm. And the and the person who won did it in like I don't know twenty minutes or something crazy.、Oh, but it、goodness. wasn't an obstacle course. I wasn't as brave or as crazy as you or Spencer and his friend Tracy. So let's check out their special race because it's time for action. Spencer and Tracy are preparing for a special race. The first part looks easy. We just have to jump from stone to stone. Some of the gaps between the stones are wide, though. I have no doubt that you'll get through it. Thanks. The second part seems a bit harder. All right. So our reading today、mm. is about action. Time for action. <laughs> 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 Yes.、Okay. So we have a little bit of an intro, which、mm-hmm. is Spencer and Tracy are preparing for a special race. All right. Well, let's find out all about it. Spencer, the the male character, is the first to speak in our little dialogue, and he's talking to Tracy, and he says the first part looks easy. Okay. So I guess this is something like the race you did.、Mm. It's not just running all the way through. There are different activities or actions or sports or whatever. You have to do one after another till you get to the end. So the first part is sort of the first section of the race, and Spencer says, "Nah, it looks easy." He explains basically what it is. We just have to jump from stone to stone.、Hmm. Well, that's not so bad. Not so bad if they're dry. <laughs> yeah, that's true. A little bit of jumping. You need some balance because you might land on one leg. And you're right. If it's a stone in a river. Ooh, that could be dangerous、yes. because those stones can get very slippery. What is a stone? It's a rock. It's a piece of mineral from the earth. It's on a mountain or somewhere near a mountain. It's made of the same stuff that mountains are made of. Stones can be used in all sorts of ways. We can build with them. We can decorate with them. We can. Throw them, but don't throw them at people.、Um, and of course, we will find stones near lakes and rivers and things like that. So jumping from stone to stone sounds like an easy challenge, as long as the stone is big. Yeah.、Right? Yeah. I mean, you know, if you're jumping on a stone like this, a little, then, you a know, little stone、luck. like that would be impossible. But a bigger stone, not too bad. All right. So、yeah. Tracy does notice, though, it might look easy, but it's maybe not quite that easy. Yeah. Spencer seems so confident,、ah, no、but、problem. then just jump on the stone. Tracy's like, well, well, wait, wait, wait. And she says,、mm-hmm. some of the gaps between the stones are wide, Ooh, though. Ooh, a、yeah. lot of space. Yes. So we've got these stones, right?、Okay. But in what she says here is that the gaps between the stones. So a gap is a space、mm. in between something. So, for example, when you are going on the MRT, you have to be a little bit careful because there's a gap、yes. between the platform and the actual train. And you don't want to get your foot stuck there or trip or fall, so be careful of that gap. Definitely. So, 
That's this word, this word gap. It is a noun and it describes the space in between two things. That's right. Or maybe the space around something. I know in the、yeah. winter, if you have a gap in your window, ooh, it can let the cold air blow through that very small space. <laughs> But between、cold. where the window should touch, We would call that open space a gap, and if the gap is very wide, well, that means there's a lot of gap. There's a lot of distance there. All right. So if I'm looking at two stones, for example, like in this activity, if there's a wide gap, that means I'll have to jump quite far. And yeah, I guess if you think about it, if they're jumping with one leg. Like a ballerina,、mm. like a ballet dancer doing a wide jump, that would be kind of hard to not fall at the end. So、yeah. good luck with that, and hopefully they are careful. But this activity doesn't sound quite as easy. But Spencer, he still feels pretty confident. He says, "I have no doubt that you'll get through it." In other words,、mm. in my mind, there are no questions. You will do it. I'm sure we will have no problem with this. Yeah. So Tracy is kind of lucky that she is doing this with Spencer because Spencer seems really confident, and he's giving her a lot of encouragement and saying, "Hey, you can do it. This is not going to be too bad.、Yeah. You can make it through it." So then Tracy responds, "Thanks." The second part seems a bit harder.、Mm, interesting, and also there、uh, we had that word doubt, right? Spencer was saying he has no doubt、um, that she will do it. Doubt is basically a question in your mind. It's something you're not quite sure about. You're not quite comfortable or confident. About so it could be something that man should have no problem,、mm. but if you think well, but that could happen or that could happen, that would be a doubt. All right, so that would be as a noun. If you doubt something, you're basically saying I don't believe you one hundred percent. I have a few questions. There's a few things in my mind saying, yeah, but. Da da da. What if this doesn't go very well? So when I doubt something will happen, I don't think it will happen. It might, but I don't think so. All right. Well, let's take a break here, and I have no doubt that we will be back with more from Spencer and Tracy right after the quick break. Yeah, we have to lie on our stomachs and crawl under a net. That should be nothing for you. You did that a lot in the army. True. Hey, are you okay with the next part? You have to climb over a large wall. Don't worry, I got that. Okay, we are back with time for action. Our exciting dialogue with Spencer and Tracy. Well, the dialogue's not that exciting,、mm. but the activity, the race they're、yes. preparing for, sounds very exciting. They were going to be jumping from rock to rock. That sounded quite challenging, but not too bad.、Mm -hmm. But then Tracy, who's never done something like this before, when they looked at the second section or the second activity, she was a little bit more worried about、yeah. this one. Didn't she say it looks more difficult? Yeah, she says I think the、uh, second part looks harder, harder than the first part. So she's a little bit、yeah. worried, maybe doubting herself a little bit. Right. So、yep. she's kind of like. Hmm. So、mm. we, we'll see what is the second part. Exactly. So yeah, what is she worried about? And Spencer says, as we continue, yeah, he agrees that it does look harder this second activity. And then he explains, yeah, we have to lie on our stomachs and crawl under a net. This sounds like exactly what you did. Yep, I did do that. Were you crawling through water or mud or something wet、yes. and dirty? Mud, muddy water, basically.、Oh, okay, <laughs> and I think most of you, if you've seen some kind of war movie or something where soldiers are training, they do similar things, right? They might have、yeah. wire or something, you know, dangerous to keep your head down, crawl on your stomach. Kind of like a snake, and that's what we think of when we think of how、um, snakes move, or how soldiers would move if they're trying to keep very low so people can't see them. They would be down on their stomach. This is generally your stomach. Now, for a doctor, it's an actual organ in your body where your food goes. But for most people, it's kind of this area of your body. If you get a soccer ball. Kicked into your stomach. Oh, that hurts. It might actually go near another part of your body, but we generally would think of this part 
of our body, especially if you are down on your hands and legs, or hands and knees, or even lower,、mm -hmm. and you're crawling. Yes. So crawling is like we are not standing up,、nope. we're not sitting down,、nope. we're not even just on our knees. We're on our hands and knees,、mm. and sometimes you can crawl、uh, all the way, laying flat on、yeah. your stomach. You might call that belly crawl. Yeah, or some. I think、stomach、that also、crawl. counts as like an army crawl. Okay. I remember your arms are supposed、right. to do this.、Right. I think your legs are kind of semi helping. Sort of pushing you along. <laughs> yeah. But it's also something you can kind of think of if you imagine like a baby.、Hmm. A baby starts off not very mobile, doesn't move really, can kind of just lay there.、Mm -hmm. But then the first kind of steps towards walking、mm -hmm. would be being able to crawl. True, and they're not doing it on their stomach. They're、no. doing it more like what we would Usually, describe as an animal、yeah. kind of walking. Hands and knees, but again, we would call that crawling. So basically, if you're using your hands and your legs, and you're down near the ground moving, yeah, we would probably call an action like that crawling. And in this case, they have to crawl under a net. What is a net? Well, it can be a lot of things, but basically, when I think of a net, I think of something we catch animals in, like a fishing net. That would be something you might use to scoop a fish out of the water. You might use a butterfly net to catch butterflies. People chasing dogs that are wild might use big nets. The thing about a net is it's a lot of rope or something. It's kind of tied together. You can see through it. You can see into it, but the animal can't get out of those little holes. So nets, of course, come in all shapes and sizes. The one that they're crawling under is probably not a a fishing net、mm, or a butterfly、not. net. Probably with、It's、rope. Probably made with rope,、yeah. the kind of thing you can climb up or wrap up big boxes in. If you're lifting them places, we use nets for all sorts of things. But the basic shape and design of them is about the same. All right, so back to the、uh, article, back to the dialogue. Now Spencer described what they're going to be doing:、mm -hmm. crawling under a net. He says it's not too hard. But Tracy thinks that actually it might be kind of easy for him for a special reason. Yeah. So Tracy goes on、hmm. and says that should be nothing for you. You did that a lot in the army. Oh, okay. If someone says something is nothing for you, they're basically saying it's not、so、important、easy. or it's easy or it's not something you will worry about. Oh, buying a first-class airplane ticket to Japan is nothing for you. Your dad's rich, or something like that. But for other people, the idea is it might be more difficult. It might be more serious. So she's basically saying, "Well, you did this in the army a lot. I've never done this. You guys used to do this every day, or something like that." And Spencer has to admit that she has a point. He says, "True. All right. Yeah, you're right about that. It will be easier for me." And then he goes on and says, "Hey, are you okay with the next part? This is maybe the." Third activity:、mm -hmm. you have to climb over a large wall. This is the one that I wouldn't want to do. This is、I、the one、don't... that I did do, and it was much harder than I was、it、expecting. It looks hard. I luckily had a friend waiting on top to、Ooh. grab my hands and help me pull myself up because it was taller than I thought. That's a good friend to have. Yeah, but Tracy, on the other hand, she goes, "Don't worry, I got that." Wow. So the rest of it seems kind of hard for、okay. her, but the wall part, she says, "Don't worry, I got that." Interesting. Meaning, I I can do it. I'm not worried about it.、Hmm. It's gonna be easy. Maybe she's a weightlifter and she's got strong arms and shoulders. Yeah. Because that's kind of what you would. Or maybe she's Spider Woman. <gasps> She's she's Spider Man's sister. Wouldn't that be a good? That、twist? would be easy for her. That's very true. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for that. We wish Spencer and Tracy great luck on their exciting race. It sounds like it will be tough but fun, and we're gonna have some more tough but fun dialogues for you guys coming up tomorrow. So please do come back and join us for that. Until then, be well and bye bye. Bye bye. Spencer and Tracy are preparing for a special race. The first part looks easy. We just have to jump from stone to stone. Some of the gaps between the stones are wide, though. I have no doubt that you'll get through it. Thanks. The second part seems a bit harder. Yeah, we have to lie on our stomachs and crawl under a net. That should be nothing for you. You did that a lot in the army. True. Hey, are you okay with the next part?
You have to climb over a large wall. Don't worry, I got that. Hi, 大家好，我是 Stephanie。那我们今天一样，先看单字。第一个单字呢是 stone， 名词，石头。Neil threw a stone into the water. Neil 将一颗石头扔进水中。那第二个单字呢是 wide， 形容词，宽阔的。The space is wide enough for six tents. 空间够宽阔，可以容纳六个帐篷。第三个单字呢是 stomach， 名词，肚子或者是胃。My stomach was upset after eating spicy food. 吃了辛辣的食物之后，我的肚子不舒服。最后一个单字呢是 net， 名词，网子。Ethan caught a fish with the net. Ethan 用网子抓到鱼。好，我们一起看今天的文法。第一个文法呢是 somebody has no doubt that， 再加主词，再加动词，某人确信点点点。Doubt 是名词，疑问、怀疑的意思。所以 has no doubt， 也就是中文的毋庸置疑。比如说 ，I have no doubt that you will succeed。我确信你会成功。句中的 succeed 是动词，成功、达到目的的意思。那第二个文法呢，是 get through something， 克服困难、挑战。这是一个不可分动词片语。The couple promised each other that they will get through everything together. 这对夫妇承诺对方会一起度过所有难关。好，那今天的最后一个文法重点呢是 I got that， 交给我吧，表示某件事情由我来负责，包在我身上。这是一个可以单用的说法。这边再补充一个同样意思的说法是 Leave it to me， 也可以表达包在我身上的意思哦。好，那我们今天的讲解就到这里 ，See you。Hi everyone, I'm Steven. Hey, I'm Ian. We're gonna play a game called Guess the Bear, where each of us has three words or phrases on these cards, and then we're gonna have two sentence examples for each. And instead of saying the word, we're gonna say the word bear, and you have to guess all three in one minute. Can、okay. you do it? I think I can. All right, start the time. I'll read yours first. Okay. All right, this is a noun. I was so hungry I could hear my bear rumbling. Number two, he had butterflies in his bear after talking to her. Stomach. Good job. This is a noun. Number one, he caught three fish in his bear. Number two, the basketball went right into the bear. Net. Yes. All right. This is a phrase. Two words. I have bear bear that you will do great on your exams. And then number two, we have bear bear that your son will be successful. Full confidence. Nope. Say again. Two. Oh, it's a, a two phrase. Two、uh, word phrase. Two I word have phrase. bear bear that you will do great on your exams. I have. I have a have, lot of confidence. <laughs> we have bear bear that your son will be successful. Utmost confidence. <laughs> I feel like confidence isn't the right word. We have. I have bear bear that you will do great、faith. on your exams. We have bear bear that your son will be successful.、Whoa. No doubt.、Oh. Okay, so I have no doubt that you will do great on your exams, and we have no doubt that your son will be Should successful. Should have gone into a song. Oh, yeah, on that one. All right, you ready, Stephen? I'm ready. Okay, and go. So first is a noun,、mm -hmm. one word.、Mm -hmm. These kids skipped bears in the river.、Mm -hmm. These statues are made of bear. Stone. Yes.、There. Okay. Second one. It's also one word. It's an adjective. Okay. I have bare feet, so it's hard to find shoes that fit well. Debris from the plane was scattered over a bare area. Why? Yes. Yes. Okay. Last one. It's gonna be a phrase. It's two words. Okay. If I can bear bear this week,、mm -hmm. I will be happy on Friday. Sometimes things are tough. You just have to bear bear them. Bear through. <laughs> <laughs> If I can bear bear this week, I will be happy on Friday. Sometimes things are tough. You just have to bear bear them. Survive through. Put put up with. <laughs> Uh, you just have to metal through. I don't know. Nah, time's up. Get through. Oh, 
was easier. So、yeah. if I can get through this week, I will be happy on Friday.、Mm -hmm. Sometimes things are tough. You just have to get through them.、Mm, don't overcomplicate things, kids. Yeah. yeah Simplicity is the best. It's a simple one. No doubt. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs>、See、you next time. time.